Can our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary, pray the Rosary? Why do I ask this question? I ask the question because there have been Marian apparitions where the visionaries have said that they prayed the Rosary together with the Virgin Mary. Now, I haven't thought about this too much, but there have been times where I've thought about that and wondered how that can be, because the Rosary is essentially a prayer to Mary. So how could Mary be praying the Rosary to herself in a way? And as I've been sitting here in quarantine in Poland, I found this interesting book lying around. It's a Polish book called Potenga Różańca, translates as The Power of the Rosary, written by a priest Józef Orhowski. Written quite a while ago too, I think. Um, and the reason I think that, it doesn't actually have a date at the front, unless I've completely just been unable to find it. I can't seem to find a date of when this was published. Perhaps it's there somewhere in tiny print. But a part of the book is actually going through the mysteries of the rosary and how you can pray them, and it also has nice pieces of text in the mysteries that you can read as you're praying the rosary, rather than just naming the mystery. But it only has the sorrowful, the joyful, and the glorious mysteries. It doesn't have the luminous mysteries. So that would lead me to believe that this was written before John Paul II introduced the Luminous Mysteries. It also has some interesting pages in there about things different popes have said about the Rosary. But then the pages that really got my attention were the ones, there's a few pages, it's page, it starts at page 32, it goes into Lourdes and actually has a fragment of a conversation or, or an examination, if you like, a cross-examination in, in a way, that St. Bernadette had to go through. Because as we know, when somebody claims to be seeing the Virgin Mary or speaking with her, they do get, this does get researched and investigated by church authorities first, before they even consider giving it uh, approval. And this is a fragment that, of a conversation that she had with, um, in the presence of Bishop Thibault, um, a French bishop, I assume, T-H-I-B-A-U-T, and some priests who were cross-examining her. And so I'm going to kind of go through this in my head in Polish, and then as I read it, I'm going to say to you what it says. So St. Benedict gets asked this question. You spoke, or it's more of a statement kind of to Bernadette. So you spoke with this lady every time she appeared to you? St. Bernadette responds, No, Father, not every time, just the times that I said. So she, she must have already told them when she spoke to our Blessed Mother. She says, No, I didn't speak to her every time she appeared to me, only in the times that I told you. Then she gets asked another question, And what was this lady doing, and what were you doing when nothing was being said. Please explain this in detail. This is asked by another priest. So this is all on this page here that's in Polish. And then we have to turn to the next page. And Bernadette responds, I looked at her, our Blessed Mother, because now I know it is our Blessed Mother. And I said the Rosary. And the Blessed Mother also had a Rosary. She always had it. It was wrapped around her wrist. And she prayed the rosary, but differently. And this is the key. So she prayed the rosary, but differently. So then Bernadette gets asked, in what way differently? Please explain this. And St. Bernadette says, Our Blessed Mother moved the rosary beads along with me. But she didn't say anything during the recitation of the Our Father and the Hail Mary. She just smiled at me sweetly. It was not until the glory be that she looked up at the sky with great joy and said the words together with me. And then the priest who wrote this book, I think goes on to explain why that makes complete sense. You know, the Blessed Mother wouldn't say the Hail Mary because then she'd be praying to herself. She also wouldn't say the Our Father because there are elements in, of that prayer that he explains that you don't really say anymore when you're in heaven, when you're a heavenly being. 
They only really apply to people who are in the world, who are still mortals, such as give us this day our daily bread, or forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All those things don't apply to you if you're in heaven, but they do apply to you if you're here. So Mary would not have said the Hail Mary and the Our Father, but she did say parts of the rosary, and during the other parts of the rosary she was there present with Bernadette. So yeah, I just wanted to go through that if that's something that's ever interested you. It hasn't been really on my mind that much, but there have been one or two times where I've thought about how that would work, and this book explains it quite well. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you again soon.